Good morning. I am so sorry that I'm filming on my phone. I don't have a camera, so I'm sorry if this quality is just tragic. But today is New Year's Eve, so I'm gonna try and do the week. I'm gonna try and do a little weekly vlog. I don't know how it's gonna go, but yeah. We really need to start keeping this beauty room clean. And well, you know, it's clean, <laughs> but it's just not tidy. So every time I get ready, I say to myself, oh, I'll clean as I go, I'll clean as I go. It never happens. Um, so, she needs to pack a few things away. Also, I bought these flannels for the day for my face. Um, she needed some fresh ones, but I thought they were pretty cute because they were pink actually. They're only from Amazon, so oh, that is so bright. I'm going to pop them in there with my skincare. <laughs> this drawer is getting pretty full actually. To be honest, that's rubbish, but I'm going to do my makeup tonight for New Year's Eve, so I'm thinking that some of it could actually stay out like. My brushes can stay out. My hair stuff can go. My cream can go. Dry shampoo can go. A lot of it doesn't need to be in here to be honest. This is just out of laziness. My face always feels so dry after a shower. My skin's just dry in general, so I'm just gonna pop on some eye serum. I always find that if you do a lot of skincare like in the day of putting makeup on. Like the skincare that works for you, your makeup always goes on better. Some moisturiser. This is the Dr. Paul Paul stuff, by the way. This is so good. I've nearly gone through this tube already. Oh, that already feels miles better. It was heartbreak this morning. Came down to make my brew. Oh, it's still kind of warm. And the milk was out of date. So Ash kindly went to the shop for me. So I'm just going to microwave this for a couple of seconds. I actually have my cup of tea, so I feel human. I'm saying that. I literally had decaf tea, and I'm really sorry about the light here. Um, I should have done this last night, to be honest. I should have cleaned the kitchen last night. Because it's, well, it's not even messy. I'm being so extra, to be honest. But I like to normally do the services before I go to bed. And then it's nice to wake up to in the morning. Like, the week between Christmas and New Year is always, always a weird week for me. You just don't know if you come on up coming or going. Mmm. Not that like anyone has come here for this for clean YouTube, but this lime scar remover is so good for your sink. Like if you let it you just spray some in your sink and let it sit for like you can't even see me. For like five minutes, it really goes lovely and clean and also shiny. And then you just grab a little sponge or whatever. And you just go round and just scrub. To be honest, this is only Ash's job. It's so weird. Like, we have, like, different kind of chores around the house. But then we've never ever discussed, like, oh, you do this and I'll do this. It just kind of falls into place. Like, he actually normally does the same. And he does, like, all the bins and stuff like that. The quality is so bad. I literally look blurry. Um, anyway, um, whoa. For Christmas, my little brother basically got me this like art set because I really like to draw and sketch. Yesterday, I did a bit of like a Disney page. And then last night at like 1am, I started to do some like sketching. But yeah, I'm going to try and finish this page now. I've just done my makeup for New Year's Eve and I'm just going to do my hair. Um... Wait, I think I need like a little bubble. And you know what? I think we put ourselves under so much pressure for New Year's Eve that I was like, kind of not even looking forward to tonight because we just put ourselves under so much pressure, but we haven't really got anything really planned. We might go out for some food, or we might not. Like, I don't know. I've kind of just got ready. Um, we have got a place for drinks booked, but we don't know if we're gonna eat there yet or not. Um, but more than likely, to be honest, no one else. Um, but yeah, we just thought we would see how it goes. They aren't on, so that's a fail. Um, see how it goes and just not put yourself under so much pressure. Like you want your hair to look perfect, your makeup to look perfect, your outfit to be perfect, when really it's not that deep. And also I think we, like I get anxiety over certain things, like certain changes and stuff. And I think just moving into a new year anyway can be quite daunting. But actually I'm trying to get in the mindset today of like, 
we're going to leave everything that's bad in 2023 and bring over all of our amazing memories and everything. We're going to bring everything good from 2023 and start the new year with it. So actually, when I keep telling myself that, I feel better. Okay, this is what I'm thinking for the outfit. I've had this in the bag for like two weeks. I've not got it on until now, so I'm actually quite glad that it fits. And this is the back. Still need to do my lips. This is why I'm so last minute. Now, the thing is, do I do um, all red, red bag as well, or do I do, or do I do a dash of black with a black bag? These are a bit more comfy. <laughs> Might have to ruin the outfit for comfort. We've gone with the red, like this, because the black made it look like school shoes. So. <laughs> So this is what it looks like now. Lips are done. I've just gone in with the Peaches and Cream Lip Liner in the shade Praline. I don't want Ash to ever, ever moan about me getting ready and taking long ever again because I've been sat here <laughs> for 15 minutes and he's only just getting in the shower. Boys actually take longer than us. We are finally ready. Yay. Happy New Year. You look lovely. Thank you, so dear. <laughs> we finally go now. We're so late. No, you're so late. We're I, so I late. am ready. <laughs> I just want to say that I am a size 3.5 shoe and I'm going out tonight in size 5 shoe. So this will be a task, me walking through the restaurant in shoes that are humongous to me. It's because it's the only red heel that was in stock in that size. And I thought because it was stiletto, it kind of is like a size down. So I thought I'd get away with it. And I kind of am, but I'm kind of not. I'm literally being a passenger princess. I'm s I thought that, that van was stopping. I'm so cold, but I'm really happy to not be driving. So that's nice. I'm excited now. I'm excited. And I don't know if I've already said this, but I think we are going to get some food because we're both quite hungry. And I think we're borderline hangry, actually. So we're just walking now. It's taking me a while to walk in these massive shoes. I forgot to mention the fact we have had some food. A glass of white Zinfandel. We are so full. All right, we're just trying to order desserts and Ash wants all of everything, one of everything. I think I'm gonna go with this, this. And Ash wants all of them. <laughs> <laughs> That looks good. This is what Ash went for. Chocolate cake. My camera is so blurry. Taste test. Mm -hmm. I'm taking that off for a few minutes. Okay, we're back <laughs> from dinner. It's torrential rain. We're back. We're very, very full. Stuffed. Stuffed. Yeah. And we don't really know what we're going to do with the evening, but. We're home anyway, so that lasted long. <laughs> we never last long out, do we? No. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! <laughs> this is our club for the evening in the kitchen. Just said he's George Samson. <laughs> ah. How high can he jump? Four meters from standing. He's actually trying to tell me and convince me he can jump four meters from standing. Yep. Huh? It's been proven. You'd be the jumpiest man in the world. I didn't get You'd literally be it. like in the World Book of Records. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. It is New Year's Day now. And we've just had a pretty chilled morning, to be honest. We have just got kind of rushed ready. Um, we're going to go and do a food shop for the next like two to three days. There's a new um, Netflix series that I want. I think it's called Fool Me Once with Michelle Keegan in it. So I want to actually watch that today, but... Um, I was thinking of going to the gym, but then I just don't want to put myself under too much pressure with it being New Year's Day because there's a lot of pressure around it. We are so silly. Everywhere's short. We've got all the way here and everywhere's short. So, Lidl, Aldi, m &S, all them kinds of places, Home Bargains is short, but then like B&M and Tesco is open. <laughs> This is literally the only water I'll drink, peach and passion fruit. The one from Aldi is much nicer. This is Ash's favourite aisle. But look at the price of that, that's ridiculous. Patty on toast, breakfast. 
Mm. I'm wrapping every single item. Steak. It's the Great British Bake. But this time there's no salt and pepper because that sort of food is fake. I got red, I got pink, I got blue. Drumsticks that you can chew. I got so much sweets in my head top that it's gonna make me catch a flu. What? What on earth? What? <laughs> this is like a talent show. Yeah. I know I have talent. I've got a question. Would you rather kiss me for one pound? Yeah. No. <laughs> Let me finish. Me for one pound or kiss the most beautiful girl in the world for a hundred thousand pounds right now? You are the most beautiful girl in the world. <laughs> Good morning. Do you know what? It's like 7 a.m. right now. We've both woke up full of a cold. <sighs> so annoying so i've literally just put my comfy mini mouth pajamas on that i got for christmas i've made myself a cup of tea but i think after this i might make myself honey and lemon and i can't believe that i went throughout the whole of winter basically the whole of christmas and new year did get a cold and now i get a cold but actually that's all right timing for me because i'd rather have one now than like christmas day i feel like i'm back where i started i'm now cleaning this mess up like i said i could not get ready anytime and not leave a mess um but this morning i actually spent 25 minutes on the phone to this i-fi place in manchester to finally get us all booked in because um if you saw what i got my what i got for christmas video um my mum bought me my boyfriend my brother and his girlfriend these sky indoor skydiving experiences which is so cool so finally booked that in now um so i could probably pop this somewhere else also i did tint my eyebrows last night um very late at like 12 pm because i really really needed it and I wanted to go on the sunbed today, but not that I'm advocating, not that I'm saying that you should go on the sunbed, by the way. Um, but yeah, I did kind of want to go on today, but now I'm feeling a bit rough. Um, when you've got a blocked nose, I don't really want to be in the sunbed. Oh no. I feel like this vlog has been everywhere and all I can do is just apologise for that. Um, this was one thing that was like worrying me about starting YouTube because not every day is like I'm doing something. Some days I'm just kind of like chilling like yesterday and um, where we just did like a food shop and it wasn't anything like really exciting. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's kind of good to start somewhere. That is much, much better now. Made some of these little prawns from Tesco. Have just tried one, very yummy. I've got no sweet chilli sauce though, so I've had to, um, I've had to use this sweet chilli mango sauce, which is yummy. Um, it's, not yeah. it's not, it's prawns. Oh. Ah. Ah. oh, wow. So, hi guys, today we have prawn cocktail on a uh, wooden board. <laughs> um, where's the sauce? Nah. Oh, nice. Mango sweet chili sauce, Caribbean style. It'd be better if it was Nigerian style, but we'll move. Thank you, welcome back. <laughs> How's the gym? <laughs> I've only not seen you for five minutes. <laughs> We're just going shopping for the day and how cute is this tracksuit from Ego? And I've got on my little Skims top underneath, but honestly, absolutely buzzing with this. It's really thick quality. It's like their new soft girl launch. So yeah, they do it in a couple of colors too. I think I'm gonna wear it with this bag and, and these trainers too. And, I'll see you in a bit. Just realised the top of my head was cut off for the whole of that. I'm so sorry, but um, hopefully you can see the tracksuit a little bit better now. We've just got back and I'm so sorry that I didn't film anything. Rubbish, me. I'm just watching this Fool Me Once on Netflix. It is so good. I am up to episode five now. So good. But I've just melted some chocolate buttons, washed some strawberries. I'm just going to make some strawberry skewers and pop them in the fridge. And hopefully that'll be my dessert this evening.
and then I'm just gonna pop them on here for the fridge. I'm just making some dinner. I've made some lemon herb chicken and some medium Nando's kind of chicken. I'm just gonna chop it all up and make some loaded Nando's fries. Do you know what? I've never really been a fan of lemon herb, but last time I made this, it was so yummy and I was actually really excited to make it again. Just wanted to show you dinner and I'm just gonna grab some Pyrenees and just put a load all over the top. I have eaten dinner and got in my comfies and cleaned the kitchen also and mopped the floors, which I feel much better for. And it's now time to get my chocolate strawberries out. These look so good now. I'm gonna love tucking into these. Let's do a taste test. Mm. Good morning. I have just got ready to come to the sunbed. I'm gonna go for a very quick sunbed. And yeah, this vlog's been pretty much everywhere and all I can do is say sorry for that. I've just come out of the sunbed looking very very rosy and probably worse aware to be honest. Now I'm on the hunt for a lobster like even if it's just a frozen lobster I'm not even fussy. I've really got this idea in my head that I want to make a seafood boil so I went to Aldi's no none in there. I went to Tesco's not in there. I'm currently at Morrison's now so Fingers crossed they're going to have something in here for me. Um, also, look at my nails. Oh my gosh. I'm only going to have them like this for 24 hours. So it's really not the end of the world. I'm getting them done tomorrow. And I literally cannot wait. Oh, you don't even need a pound for these ones. Brilliant. Okay, this actually looks promising. Never had them before in my life. Don't think I'd ever eat them. I finally got the goods. Finally. So, Morrison's we actually smashed it in the end it was very busy in there honestly <laughs> honestly that was that just literally sent my anxiety through the roof but now i'm out i'm much happier um just gonna show you what i got so i got an apple pie which never went in for but it was warm and i was like yes it was in the bakery section got some custard to go with the apple pie of course don't even really like apple pie like that. I actually prefer apple crumble, but oh well. Got some pate because I've run out. Um, then I went a bit AWOL on the hot section. I got some like crinkle cut fries. I got some barbecue wings and some spicy chicken wings, which I'm gonna cook into. I got some smoked sausage and two lobsters. Finally, it was literally the last two on the shelves. And then some softener. Um, I only went in for lobster, but I got myself some food as well because I'm quite hungry. But it's only 11 in the morning. Is this ridiculous to sit here and eat chicken wings? Oh well, there's no rules. Cheers. Mmm. I'll give them a four out of ten. I don't know why I was expecting like AFC standard. I don't think I've actually shown that we've got a coffee machine. It's just this espresso machine from where's it from? Swan. I actually don't drink coffee, um, but the smell of coffee to me is so lovely. And also Ash drinks coffee, so it just made sense to get one. It's time to make a hot chocolate. Are in. I don't know if they're going to record the sound through here or through there. <laughs> anyway, um, this is how I do it anyway. I get my little pan, put it on the heat. Every time I start filming, honestly, all I can hear is like the dishwasher or the washing machine going. It never makes noises any of the time. Okay. Get the milk. And I've just splashed it everywhere. Don't do that far. Get my chosen mug. I think I'm gonna go with this one today. I love this one. This one is from, I'm pretty sure this is from b &M, but it doesn't say on the bottom, it's like rubbed off a little bit. Anyway, I've got two options of white chocolate. I've got white hot chocolate normal and white 
and a white hot chocolate creme brulee. I think I'm gonna just do normal white chocolate because last time I had it, I had a creme brulee one, so yeah. And then I'm gonna do three scoops because I'm very generous with my hot chocolate portion sizes. Wow. I go through these. She got basically nothing left. Marshmallows out. This is the best part. No, I used to put marshmallows in like this bit now before the milk, so the marshmallows like mix into the hot chocolate. But I realised I stop need I need to stop behaving like I'm like three years old and just eat it like a normal person because <laughs> I end up having more marshmallows than I do hot chocolate. I'm just gonna get this this whipped cream. This is a vanilla flavour, which I've never had before. And then I tried it for the first time the other day. It was like a sweet cream. Oh, I don't even eat cream because it gives me spots. So this is really bad, the amount that I'm eating recently. Okay, I'm pretty sure that it's ready, so I'm just gonna pour it in. Wow, it didn't go anywhere. That's the first time ever. It didn't spill everywhere. Just mix for ages to make sure there's no lumps. Disgusting. Wow, this hot chocolate is so creamy. Okay, and then whipped cream time. I know that it's past Christmas now, but like when is it when do you have to stop drinking hot chocolates? Is it like now? Or can you just drink them all year round? I don't want to stop drinking them. I've never enjoyed hot chocolate the way that I've enjoyed hot chocolate this year. There we have it. Just spent some of my evening doing some more drawing. Good morning. So sorry I didn't film anything last night. This is what I mean. I really need to start like actually getting in the flow of filming everything that I'm doing. Um, because yesterday I literally went to see my family and then I came back and I was just doing some art for a bit and I was just doing some work and then went to sleep. And now we're here. I woke up this morning early, washed my hair, which I'm gonna just blow out in a sec, but I don't really wanna blow it like every single day. I think when I had longer hair, I never really used a hairdryer on it. I'd always let it like air dry. And I know that for some people that is just illegal, but um, I didn't really like using heat on my hair that much. So I'm trying to not, now I've got shorter hair, I do like to blow it so it's got all that volume, but I'm trying to just let it air dry sometimes. So I'm trying my best to get halfway to dry and then I'll just blow the rest out. I've got my nail appointment very shortly. So, I'm really looking forward to that. And I don't know what I'm getting yet. All I know is, I think I'm gonna go with the almond shape that I've, I keep getting. Last time I had Biab, um, but last night I had to, no, two day, was it yesterday? Yesterday I had to cut all my nails down, or the night before, because they were just, they weren't strong and they just need to get stronger again. So I just thought I'd show you these. And um, so, basically you can get these from like, being cute or you can actually get them from sheen but we've got a couple of strong ones and then these ones are from sheen but these are just for smaller rooms but long story short i am just so obsessed with security like we've got cameras all around and um, and yeah everything that we need basically like alarm system wise and yeah i i don't know why i'm even talking about this but i just know how it feels to like feel like sometimes on edge or just have anxiety and stuff and especially in like hotel rooms and stuff so basically these um these go basically you have to open it like this so it's on the side and then you put it on the door and then no, once it's screwed in no one can open the door and um, but yeah if you these are quite good for like hotel rooms and stuff as well because obviously if you don't super glue them onto the door you could just take them off after um, if you ever stay in a hotel and feel a bit freaked out. But yeah, I just thought it was a really cool, handy gadget. Okay, so outfit wise, I'm not getting anything crazy. I've just got my leggings on and my black skims top, which 
if you know me, is literally like my favourite top. I don't know what it is. I don't know why it is, but it just is. Um, I'm going to go really chilled. I'm just going to pop on this jacket from Represent. I think that is comfy and cash. It is literally on my road, the nail shop, so it is really not that far to go. go with these i just got back from my nail appointment this is what i've gone for it's like hopefully you can see it. it's like a milky white almond shape i was gonna get red but then i didn't want to say i was gonna get red because i kind of knew that i'd probably bottle it but i think next time i'm definitely gonna go for red but these are like my favorite nails i've ever had i've never ever had these before i've had this shape but not this like milky white oh my gosh i just love them i'm actually gonna finish this vlog here thank you so so much for watching and i hope it hasn't been too boring um but it's kind of like my first proper vlog so hopefully it can only just get better from here but yeah thank you for watching and i will see you in the next video